Hello everybody, this is me, the Movies Reborn, here with another Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness walkthrough episode. Today, we're going to be going through the lava area of, uh, of the Citadark Isle Lair. Um, as we left off, I had to heal my Pokemon. Uh, did not have a chance to walk all the way over there, so sadly I had to do that while I'm recording. And then while I'm walking, I always want to give a shout out to a couple of my friends. Uh, well, you know, AA Grovile. Um, one of my new friends on DeviantArt, uh, Immortal Zeus for being such a great viewer. Um, that's some mythic stuff. Yeah, that's also a great YouTube viewer. Uh, definitely, of course, Craig, you're awesome, and you too, Crazy T. Five, three, four, five, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that's gotta be it. So yeah, I just want to give a shout out to y'all. And yes, yeah, so I'm continuing uh, going through the scientist area and going up here. Suddenly I see, suddenly I see this uh, lava area. It's very, it's not a puzzle, it's not, it's not even cl anything close to a puzzle. There's just some, some lava here that is obviously not safe. And it raises the question, how in the hell do they actually get through here? I mean, how does this place work um, if they, if they can't get through here, that, that, that doesn't really make sense. And why on earth do they just make regular cubes? and just leave them there. Why? Why? And if they just left them there for the sole purpose of dropping into the lava, why didn't they do it already? And on top of all that, if they... if <laughs> Who gets them out of the lava? If... if oh, oh my goodness. There's just so many questions that they have made by just making this area. It's just not a very nice area, I gotta say. It's a... It's, ugh. It's very shoddily made. I mean, who on earth has this in one of their own bases? like an in, impassable area and on top of all that where on earth did they uh, find pokey boxes why did they put stuff inside of them and just leave them there in the middle of a pool of lava I just don't understand it's beyond my mortal understanding I'm sorry it's just I don't understand alright I got those revives totally not necessary um, but you know it's an item let's go into the lava area because that's actually necessary to get through here. Da, 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 da. Let's go this way. And this weird arch. I'm expecting some Cypher Peon to drop down any minute now. I don't know when they will. Probably when I go into that area down there. Pushing one final cube. How on earth does a kid with my skinny arms push down a metal block that that's big? And how does it fall straight down? I don't know. I'm not a physics, I'm not a physics genius, but I'm pretty sure that's not possible. But again, it is just a video game. I am just, I'm probably reading way too much into this. Just a small area with nothing ever in it, so I'll just keep going. And I was right. Oh, you were gonna melt waiting? Oh, that just melts my heart. You're such a nice guy, Grupal. Uh, for that, I will kill your Pokemon. Uh, very painlessly, as as painlessly as I can. Hopefully, I'll kill them in one hit. If not, uh, it sucks to be you. Okay, and it looks as if I am actually at the disadvantage because he has a Houndoom, and that is Fire Dark. Um, and I do not have any Pokemon that are super effective against that. So let us switch out Arcanine for Sharpedo. And let's get a Gardevoir and put the Primeape in, in, in the play in the <laughs> Sorry. Swap out Sharpedo. And get uh, Gardevoir out for Primeape. Because Primeape is super effective on dark types and most likely his cross chop will do Hound Doom a crap load of damage. Flamethrower, that what? Wait a minute, it hits Sharpedo. So that meant it would have hit Arcanine. So why would you use flamethrower on Arcanine? You idiot! You idiot! Good lord, these people are dumb. Like that entire turn was wasted for them. Alright, cross chop. Actually, I should have just swapped out Sharpedo for Agron. And I could have used my earthquake technique with Primeape. Oh. Oh, and here we go again. It's friggin' Confuse Ray. Man, does that not get annoying? I gotta say. It's like every. Every Pokemon just has to know some kind of confusing move. 
And if you get confused, oh, you you get hit every turn, but if you confuse the enemy, oh, it's like a 30-70 chance that they'll get hit. The 70 being that they won't get hit. And a Vile Plume. Vile Plume. Uh, let's use Ice Beam to take out the Vile Plume, and we will use Reversal to take out Nine Tails. Actually, oh, let's use Earthquake. I have no, I don't, I don't know exactly um, how powerful Reversal is when I have full HP, but it's probably pretty crappy. All right, now, oh crap! I just realized that I did choose Earthquake. Um, hopefully, the po the Shadow Pokemon that he's gonna throw out. And oh no, it's a Magmar. Oh no. Oh no, this might be where I have to stop recording because I might I might have screwed up here. Um Earthquake could deal a crap lot of damage. This is not good. Let's uh let's see. Nothing to Sharpedo. To Magmar it oh, 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 oh that's close. That was close. Oh god, thank you god. Holy uh I can't can't deal with that kind of thing, man. <laughs> Why didn't he throw out the freaking pincer first, man? Oh, that's that was oh that was close. Oh, that was really close. Uh, let's use a water pulse. I uh, know. Let's use slash. Slash is safer. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's going in the history books of me the movies. That is gonna be the closest shadow Pokemon death I've ever had. Whoa, whoa. That, and that's that's really weird because I every poke, every shadow Pokemon or every fire or ground or uh, poison type that I've used earthquake on has insta coded. So that must say something about shadow Pokemon. Maybe they are really really tough compared to regular Pokemon. That's interesting. I should note that shadow break. Oh no. Oh man, crap. Now I have no. I actually have no way of knowing whether or not my move. Oh no. Oh no. It's not good. It's gonna be one of them days, yeah? Um, and actually, fight is not too powerful on bug. So this is gonna be one. one long willing away stage. Shadow break. Oh no! Dang! Dang! That is powerful! I mean, that my Ampharos is pretty high level. I don't even know how the heck he's doing that much damage. Um, I think... I don't... I don't think I could whittle it down anymore. A body slam might kill it. Let's just throw an Ultra Ball. Uh, we may be... We may very well be able to catch it. If not, I should probably keep using Reversal. Cross Chop has a high critical hit ratio, and I do not want to get a critical hit this this late. Especially not after that Magmar incident. I'd ha hate have to re-record re all this. And he got out of the Ultra Ball. Not too bad, though. I got three Wiggles. Um, probably one more Reversal will do it. See, now it's in its yellow HP. We're halfway there. Whoa! We're halfway there. Oh no, he killed my primate pain one hit. What the foe dag it, man? What did I miss? What did I miss? I had to kill primate by one hit. That is one tough pincer. That was one tough pincer. You know, if I was to use a bug type Pokemon, pincer would be my. Pincer would be my first choice. Pincer actually looks pretty awesome for a bug type Pokemon. I, mean, I am not a bug type user, but uh, the only actual bug type I've ever used was Volcarona from Black and White. And that turned out pretty well. Uh, ah, I caught the pincer. Very nice. I've actually never used a pincer before. I don't know. I'm kind of considering it since it was that powerful when it code my primate on one hit. Anyway, got the magmar and the pincer. <clears throat> Gonna continue moving on. And I forgot that little case over there. I don't know why I didn't do that. Uh, let's go grab it real quick. Damn invisible walls. Oh, sorry, I shouldn't be cussing. Oh, a white herb. Those are so rare, I'm not even going to use them. White herbs. Eliminate stat changes uh, to a Pokemon. So, basically, it's if it's for the combo. When you use Overheat, because it lowers your special attack by two. Um, let's save this real quick. 
I haven't, I haven't saved on screen, but I just don't want to have to re-record that. Uh, so yeah, there you go. Um, are there any people over here? Or is this where the Pokemon healing machine is? Um, let us see, let us see. Um, is there? Uh, yeah, there it is. Yeah, I knew I remembered it was around here somewhere. So I kind of saved all that for nothing. Whatever. Uh, now I can start uh, leveling up Arcanine and Primate again. Uh, let's see, what's this way? This way is the PC. I don't know why they didn't put the PC uh, right there. Alright, we got a Cypher P on girl who's trying to score some points with some bald old guy. Kimley! Oh, Kim would have been just just okay, but Kim Lee now. You know, now we're getting some serious action going. Mighty Anna and Stantlair. Too bad I did not have my primate out here first, because that would have been pretty snazzy. Could have done some major damage. Um, but sadly I did not. And Arcanine doing his intimidates, and then he's gonna use his intimidates. Oh yeah, Stantlair has two intimidates, or Mighty Anna has an intimidate, and Stantlair has an intimidate. That's actually a pretty good uh, strategy however they used it on the wrong Pokemon because I'm going to only use special attacks sucks to be them on top of all that I killed them in one hit in your face in your face ain't got no grace and a Zangoose that's most likely not going to be a shadow Pokemon because I've already got a shadow Zangoose that I purified and I'm kind of using it on my team every now and then. I uh, just level it up for the heck of it. Because you never know when you might need a Zangoose, you know? Could use a Zangoose. Uh, let's see. I'm going to use my golden team, however, for the final battle, obviously. It's going to be necessary. Alright, Psychic. Psychic. Going to do some Psychic damage to that Zangoose. Teach it what for, for uh, obviously being a Zangoose. Too bad I didn't use the Survivor. That would have been funny. Mortal enemies. They are mortal enemies. You do not mess with Zengus. If you are a survivor, you do not mess with Zengus. And a Sharpedo. This is not good. Sharpedo is actually super effective on both my Pokemon, so it'd probably be wise to swap out one to get a better Pokemon. Because Sharpedo, the dark, is good against my Gardevoir, and the water is good against the Arcanine. I uh, don't know exactly what he's going to use, <coughs> but that's some Flora. Just. Uh, I was th I was wondering which one I should swap out, but since Arcanine is super effective on some Flora, I will just swap out Gardevoir, since she has uh, fulfilled her usefulness, and Primeape is going to take out Sharpedo, since Fight is super effective on Dark. Flamethrower action is going on right now. Bruh, take that some Flora. Ha 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 Yeah, you faint. That is one of the longest death scenes, and it's almost, it's almost too much. All right, he had a, he had the ability to be super effective on both of my Pokemon, and yet he still used a normal type move. That's oh, that's idiotic. All right, let's use Take Down and Cross Chop. Cross Chop will definitely do it, and Take Down missed. Uh, I blame that on the Sand Attack and my Cross Chop mix missed and Taunt. Again, he could have been super effective on my Pokemon, but he used Taunt instead. Basically, what Taunt does, it makes you only use be, you can only use fighting type moves, not not fight type moves like moves that do damage. You cannot use moves that do status conditions or raise stat. You can only use offensive moves. That's the word, offensive. All right, if I if I do another fight, that'll probably go over uh, my time. So I'm gonna end it right around here after I go through my purify chamber. Um, actually, it's almost filled up. One more slot. Um, so if you guys like my videos, throw me a like, comment, subscribe. I would, I would definitely appreciate that. The links are into this in the description. You got my old YouTube account, my DeviantArt account, and my two Facebook accounts. If you like, if you want to talk to me, go to my Facebook. If you want to get updates, go to Melee Movies Reborn's Facebook page. And I will see you guys in the next video as we go through more of this lair. And I will see you later.